In this tutorial, we're going to create these funky steampunk glasses and you can see how they look from side to side. Let's edge hide the body. It's modeled off this design. And if we zoom in closely, you can see we created some dirt texture on the bronze metal. We created a nice, this is all done in EV by the way. And even on the emission, we created dirt on the emission just for an interesting different style. And yeah, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below what videos or what I should model or do next in Blender. And if you want to know how it looks rented out without the monkey head, it looks something like this in Eevee. Also rented this out with the monkey in Eevee, which looks like this. And then I rendered it out in cycles just so you could see a difference. And it looks like this. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this, enjoy this tutorial. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And let me know what I should model next. Alright, go into Google and type in steampunk goggles. Find these ones. They uh, are somewhere down here. There they are. And download them. Go into Google. De delete your default cube. Press numpad 1 for front orthographic view. Shift A. And we're going to make use of an image, a reference image. Find the reference image. Download it. Press GY10 to move it back. Press numpad 1. Press GZ and lift it above this red line. There you go. Go to the object data properties. Make it transparent so we can see the lines. Put it to the back. And let's make sure it's not selectable. So we don't move it by accident. And we just have to rename it. Reference image. And there you have it. Now we can begin. First thing we want to do is press Shift A, <coughs> mesh, circle, rotate your mesh on the x axis 90 degrees, and G, chuck it over here. And we just want to get this outer rim first. S, something like that should be good enough in this example tab edit mode F to full click on x-ray mode all right now we can press I and insert and then press I again to about there and then press G Y and make this as thick as you like something like this would be should be more than thick enough and then hold in alt and press e y and that should be more than good enough for this example next so we've got the basic rim up but we've noticed that there's extra geometry on the side here so just so i know what is what i'm just going to select the start edge And the seems to be a whole thing of extra geometry, so we're gonna have to add that quickly. Um, all right, let's press three for faces, let's press numpad one and make sure we got it. So I'm just gonna select all turn on off x-ray I'm just going to select all these faces that have something to do with that it's numpad one okay almost there just two more okay we've got the outer room so all we have to do is press shift D to duplicate this right click separate selection <clears throat> and I'm going to call this first circle lens and we're going to call the second circle frame that seems to be one of the 
key distinguishes. So press tab, go into object mode and select your frame. And with your frame selected, press tab, go into edit mode. And you can turn on wireframe and select all. And if you pressed E, you would get a weird result like this. So that's no good. But if we change this to individual origin, pressed E, still get that. Control, delete that. If we press E and then S, now that isn't as bad, but not what I want. I'm gonna press numpad one and I'm gonna take my time with this. Let's start off with this first one here. Numpad one. I'm just gonna rotate this a little bit. Press G. Okay, cool, now we've got the second one. Now this one's a crucial one, so I'm gonna rotate this as well. But just to make life a little bit easier, I'm also gonna scale it out a bit to match the thickness of the nose part. So we've got less to worry about. Not really, and then we'll do it to this part, yeah. G, bring it all the way out here. Let's zoom in, rotate. Select this. And yeah, this part is just a laborious part of lining it up. I think I will just line this all up and I'll see you after the lineup is done. All right, I've got the basic layout done. And obviously it's not where I want it to be yet. And from the looks of things, if we zoom in here to this reference image, it seems to be more or less, after this room, more or less almost smoothly fading outward slightly. So I'm gonna make that assumption as well, which means I'm gonna select all of these, press two for edge select, select all of these. And we, actually before I do that, I need to press, go back into object mode and select both these objects and press control J to join them. All right, now that it's one object, we can select this object, press tab, go into edit mode and press X and delete these vertices. And now we're stuck with just this outer rim over here. And uh, this is where the task is somewhat laborious because I don't know a quick way to do this. So this is the first piece. I'm gonna hold shift and select the second piece. And I am gonna press F to fill. And I kinda have to do this with each and every piece because I don't believe it works out as well when I try and do it all at once for whatever reason. So here we go. I'll see you after I've that finished this laborious process. All right, when you're done, you should have something like this. And now we want to create these spiky bits. So the first thing we want to do is press Control R create a loop cut and we want to have the spikes probably in the middle somewhere and we press Verti select and now we're going to look at where all the spikes are so we want one here and what we could do is we could press 2 select this for example press GG and just move it down the line in the middle of the spike there and select this GG, move it to the center there, and we can do the same with this, GG. Note that I'm saying GG because I'm pressing G twice quickly. G 
to change to make sure it will work gg and yeah that's good enough but screw it gg okay so it looks like these are just going upward and these are the exact same thing okay cool so it seems that they're using a bolt for the for the for the design so perhaps we should use bolt and then we can just snap to the face oh, that's going to be tricky um, we might have to create a flat surface ah let's worry about that when we get there let's create the bolt object mode uh, we can also quickly mirror this so you can just see it, how far we are shift a empty it didn't work shift a empty play there we go uh, goggles empty select this and click on the reference image goggles empty there we go so we've got the lenses part done which is great um, another cool thing we can quickly do while we yeah uh, that looks like a very thin piece so I'm gonna press tab go into edit mode press control R create two loop cuts like that and press three and select that press numpad one okay well I need to fix that numpad one E clipping just increase this amount so it clips nice and the other thing we want to do is just rotate this angle a bit and let's just view this it doesn't look round enough I guess we could just create some loop cuts here. We could select this loop cut, turn on proportional editing, press G, scroll the mouse wheel down and just lift this up. So we get some sort of angle based shape. Press tab, go into object mode turn off x-ray okay cool so that part seems to be good enough cool I'm fine with that let's move on right click shade smooth and turn on auto smooth at 30 and that looks a lot cleaner cool I'm happy with that next thing we want to do is get the bolts so just looking at a reference image so it's six sides one two three four five six let's assume they're using that over here as well so in object mode i'm going to press shift a and we can just use a cylinder and change the sides to six and in theory that should be good enough for a bolt it seems to be yep so I scale this down obviously by quite a bit and press tab edit mode press 3 to choose a face G Z tab object mode numpad 1 Let's turn on wireframe mode. 
Well, let's just see how this works if we try and snap this to a vert. Uh, number one, change snapping. Let's try faces first, then we'll try vertices. No, let's try vertices. Ah, uh, faces. Let's do faces. And uh, numpad three. Just gonna bring this in around about here. Turn off extra mode. Yeah, so this should work perfectly fine. Let's see what we can see. Might actually be best to use the one I can see a little bit clearer as a reference point. But numpad one. change the angle slightly and one thing we can do is press tab and go into edit mode and select everything press G let's just turn off proportional editing and snapping quickly in edit mode G and just make that the center and now we should be able to get this looking a little bit more appropriate okay let's assume that that is correct let's go into solid view mode See, I'm not a fan of that. I think it did snap correctly, but it doesn't look great. One point one. Okay, this is where my design is going to be a little bit different to the example. I'm going to press I to insert. Select the face and then press I to insert. And what we want to do here is right click, subdivide, right click, subdivide again, go back to face, press sh Shift Alt S and pull this until it's on one and you've got a nice sphere there now we can press to be safe I'm just going to press I and then I'm just going to press E to extrude to no, turn off snapping to about there and now I have to press E S G slightly so it's almost perfect but not quite and then the easy part is just press E let's try control B It's a little bit sharper. Let's press S. Zoom in, Control E. Scroll the mouse wheel. There you have it. Tab. 
object mode, right click shade smooth, auto smooth at 30. And just to save time, I'm just going to press shift D to duplicate this. Turn this back on. Compound one. Tab, edit mode, select everything. G, oh, this proportional editing sucks. Magnetic thing sucks. G, oh, come on, my friend. Select everything. G. Rotate. Now if I turn this on, numpad one. Changes to vertice. Ah, screw it, leave it on the face. Ah, it just doesn't work for me. Need more practice, I guess, with that. Chuck it over here. Rotate slightly. And press tab, edit mode. Press 2, Alt, S. Not a fan, but okay. I can also press Control B. Bevel this slightly, so it doesn't look so sharp. Tab Object Mode. Tab Edit Mode. Control B. Yeah, the snapping thing doesn't work for me so well. I need a more, way more practice. Shift D, I think one goes somewhere. Yeah. Let's rotate this slightly and press G. Let's go back here. Shift D, try and keep it in line. But somewhere, yeah. Numpad one. Rotate this like that. G. Tab, edit mode. Turn on wireframe mode. Select all of that. G, bring it in. 
And this one's got a slightly different shape. So let's press Control R. Look at about yeah, and then press S. And we should also right click Shade Smooth. Ooh, I messed up somewhere. Control Z. numpad or if I press G to move this and I press Z Z X X that seems more accurate Y frame mode G X X Now, looking at this, it should look fine. It does. It's still. Is it in line? It does not look in line to me. But that should be good enough. Tab, object mode solid view mode x-ray turned off shade smooth and then we press tab edit control r go to loop cut check something here yeah. press s tab object mode and it's not standing out so much so perhaps we want to click this edge and mark sharp tab object mode yeah it's a little bit better and now we just press shift D oh stake numpad 3 shift D chuck one over there here we go Rotate this to the right angle. Press G. There we go. That looks good enough for me. Perhaps. This one's a little bit tricky. Okay, now we can just select all of these objects here and this and press Control J. And just like that, we've done that which is the base like the majority of the design and uh, it has like a dirty gold bronze look and black lenses so let's try and do that but before we do let's go to the world editor and just make the whole world this white go into render view I don't like that, but we'll probably change the color in a second. Let's make it a bit darker at least. There we go. Go to materials, press new. So the first material we want to use is glossy. Perhaps you want to go to the material viewport. Just look at the specific material itself. Let's lift this up. Shader editor. Shift A. Mix. Shift A. We need to add a glossy shader with. 
So let's let's add it with the principled BSDF. Whenever you're in doubt, just use this one. And then we need to press Shift A and use a texture. Voronoi might be good enough. Let's take a look. I'm just going through the different designs quick to see if there's a certain pattern that works for me. And I'll adjust the scale and all that jazz. Ah, I'll use this one. Let's increase the scale significantly. Let's make the scale 40. And let's make the exponent 32. Make the randomness 0 0.9. Make this 0 0.1 and make this okay. So, this seems to be the primary color. What happens if we switch these two? All right, so I've got all this way back, should be glossy. Okay, let's mess with the color of gloss so we get a bronze that we like something like that should be good enough okay and it's kind of distracting so i just need to add another material quickly press tab go into edit mode press three and just choose these faces this these these eyes yeah and give it a you call it a gloss bsdf black sign also we can make the roughness clean okay that will be a lot better tab object mode It'll be a lot easier to see what we're doing with this other material for the bronze So we're going to call this material lens because this is the lens material and then we will click over here and click material one and call this glass frame material just so we know what's what So let's play with this now. So this one wasn't any good. Shift A texture. Let's try noise texture. Who knows? Oh, that's not right. Factor into this factor. There we go now. That looks a little bit more dirty. Okay, if we scale this up. Control Shift click. So we can just view this. Let's get the shape we like okay that should be fine 
control shift click let's switch these two up that's going to work fine for this example and we're going to delete those let's look at our render view I don't like our glass material not being visible oh control Z to do click on lens and to make sure it is working shift a mesh Suzanne G Y 2 numpad 1 give Suzanne a, an emission material just to see if it's it can shine through That should be more than enough perhaps we need to go back to this click on the lens make sure it's set to alpha blend here we go now we can see obviously when you're working in Eevee it struggles with light as you can see over here how would this singular thing look in cycles okay cool it would actually work properly in cycles you always add bloom after the fact in cycles but it automatically it works a lot better okay that's interesting i'm going back to eevee though knowing that this is working delete that and i guess now all we need to do is add well we could add the frame i mean not the frame the leather strap select this H to hide it and just taking a quick look okay cool so it's over there cool let's do it alt H tab edit mode 2 select this shift D click right click separate selection tab object mode rename this strap and now we've got the strap the only thing we need to do now is perhaps create a curve shift A curve Bezier curve G G and pad seven tab edit mode G make sure that this is on the, the middle point tab object mode G and we want to check this about about yeah and let's click on the where's the strap here it is object convert to curve then click on this curve here object data properties geometry object strap uh, 
One sec. So that's working. Let's quickly select our strap. Go press tab, edit mode. E to extrude. Tab object mode. Tab edit mode. Object mode, did I make a mistake? Convert to mesh, tab object mode, edit mode, select everything, F to fill. Once it's filled, tab object mode, convert to curve. Hmm. I think I'm going to use the nerves curve here. Shift A, surface, nerves curve. Select this, delete. Select this. Go to the object data properties. Add the spline. There we go. Tab edit mode. Now we want to put this where the goggle spot should be somewhere up here and working in 3d sometimes can be a pain in the ass there we go one pad one Like this. Just like this. Let's put this down. And we can just create some interesting shape here. It doesn't have to be the ex exact same position. And that should be good enough. And now we can just press E to extrude. Now we can select all these verts here and we can press E to extrude to give it some thickness. Z. We can take a look at this and anything I want to do here is try and connect this. To our mesh in, in some way. Let's press tab, go into object mode, so object, convert to mesh select this and then control J tab edit mode ok 
okay, I'm not a fan of that. I'm just gonna undo that quickly. Unpad one. So we definitely want this to be as straight as possible, this part. Something like that should be fine. And then we can press tab object mode. Select this. Control J. Of course we can't join it yet. Need to convert this to a mesh. Then select the subject, control J. That looks a little bit better. That looks a little bit lazy, so let's try and see what we can do to fix it. Two, Alt. Perhaps we can just uh, select all these pieces here, yeah, right click, and press dissolve edges then select this and select this click right click and okay well, let's try Let's press one, select this, select this, right click, merge vertices at, at last. And then we select this and select this. Right click, merge vertices at last. And now we'll just need to do some proportional editing here. Yeah? We might want to just select this, turn on turn on proportional editing and press G ah, G Let's try that again. G. Turn off proportional editing, press G. Rotate. could really spend a lot more time on this making it look really good but I need to get this done today so I might just call it oh, it's so gross but you can play around with this until you get it, get the angle that you like I really want to undo everything and just do it right it's bugging me mistake is I placed this in the wrong spot And I think I'm just going to leave it like this in this example. Unless I can just select all of this. And I don't really have time for this. I'm just going to do proportional editing and scale this down. I'm 
or perhaps I should just separate by by loose parts I'm going to press F3 separate by loose parts okay there we go tab object mode okay there we go so this is one big loose part that helps and now I can just press object convert to curve ah no on pad one I'm just going to take the cheap way and just scale it in a little bit where it can't really be seen but it's still technically in here and that should be fine select everything and press control J Of joining this, I can just press tab edit mode. There we go, that looks perfectly fine. And I'm happy with this result. Let's go into our material viewport. We probably want to give the strap a different color. So let's do that quickly. Tab edit mode. Numpad 3. And we're going to go wireframe. And we're going to select all of this. shift uh, that should be good enough for this example we could try and get this last room got it selected and let's create a vertex group click assign go to materials click add a new material press new click assign rename this material strap go to render view oh, so that was selected by mistake actually isn't affected so it's not the end of the world all right so now we can just mess with the strap quickly and maybe we go with a different color let's press tab edit mode oh we don't actually need to be in edit mode object mode let's go over here click on the strap delete this shift a let's use A mix shader shift a and diffuse BSDF shift a and emission BSDF give an emission strength of 30 
let's make it a five. One, two, three, one, two, three. Should be fine. Shift A texture. And we can make use of let's try noise texture again. Let's zoom in. It's always hard to mess with emissions. Perhaps we want to use something else. Shift A, shader, principal BSDF. And let's make the base color black. doesn't really do much, does it? Let's put this over there. Press Shift A, Shader transparent and then choose alpha blend okay, that's steampunky enough I feel and the last thing we want to do in this now that we're done is add Suzanne why not S ten G G Y and let's give Suzanne some subdivision right click shade smooth give Suzanne a material in this case, I'm just going to make Suzanne Silver, Shift A, Shader, Glossy, 0 0.15, and I'm going to add an environmental texture. You can go to hdrhaven.com to download one. Download the one I have here already, which is really no good. I should get a better one. Maybe I will. Is there any way we could? I guess not. Or perhaps if I press tab, object mode, let's just see if we can mess with these lenses. Materials, lens, alpha hashed, that face culling. Okay, there we go. This might be more fun if it's a different color. It's a bit too bright.
I think we're done. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.